What's up guys, uh, this is an update to uh, my drum kit video that I had uh, made earlier, the drum kit tour and uh, there were a few questions uh, and a few uh, things that I had missed out so I'm going to cover those in this uh, new installation of the video. Alright, uh, first of all, I've been getting a lot of comments on this thing right here. What is that? Everyone's been saying... I mean, half the comments I got was just for that damn thing. Like, boobies, boobies, people are like, boobies, boobies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not really boobies, man. It's, it's ass. Okay, that is the real poster of the full thing. That is what it is. That's hard, isn't it? Okay, uh, so that answers your question as to what that thing was all about. Uh... Pretty nice picture if I can, must say so myself. If you guys want to know who is it by, it's by this guy named Luis Royo. There's his name right there. Um, and yeah, Google it and just get the poster, man. It's quite awesome. Okay, the second thing was, how have I connected these two modules? Is like this. Now this is the headphone out. This is the headphone output of the first module, yeah? This one leads into the auxiliary input of the second one so that's the auxiliary input and that's the auxiliary input level so you adjust that accordingly less or add so that both the modules are around about the same volume there's no mixer used here at all this one again headphone output of the first one and going into the uh, auxiliary input of the second one over here uh, we have the all auxiliary input for the first one where this is going to is to my computer that's where I let me show you my computer that is uh, what I use for my playbacks okay that's a Samsung Q1 PC and uh, I place that right here and um, yeah out of the headphone output I connect the lead I don't know where it is right now but whatever uh, from there I play back my song that goes into there and then from there with the drum sounds in this comes out from the headphone out into that so I've rambled about that long enough now um, let's move on to the next things um, okay now about the adapter you can only use a specific this type of an adapter which says ring on it here and tip there why because inside here the red one is attached to the ring side of this and the black one which says tip is attached internally to the tip and so when you put that into an input that says 9 slash 10 it says it right there 9 slash 10 that means that these these sort of adapters can be used uh, to trigger two different pads all into just one jack okay uh, then you guys knew what was over here there was a very interesting symbol over here but that one's broken the transparent one now what I have is a saw blade yeah man that's a real saw blade right there and uh, it's a 12 inch uh, circular saw blade makes a bit more noise on its own I'm gonna put some rubber over here to silence it a bit as you can see it makes quite a, a great sound on its own and it's also chipping away my sticks just a bit so if you see that and uh, of course it has the trigger stuck underneath there which is right there that's the trigger, so uh, it's making a China sound. The second one was this. This also has the trigger on it eventually. And uh, that is a Zildjian uh, sign made out of plexiglass. Not, it's not a neon light, it's as you can see, I can touch that as well, and it doesn't give me a shock or whatever. Because it's cut out glass, with, which has like a blue tube light inside. So that was a, quite an interesting buy for me. 
Uh, now, the two other pads that I had forgotten to mention was one was this. That's like a timbal snare. Then this is the tabla. The, this is a three zone pad, by the way. So that's the tabla sound and that's the side stick. The snare cross stick. Yeah, and I had missed out this one. This is, of course, you must have seen from my videos. That's the crash that I use while I'm playing the beats. And that's a, like a clave block or whatever. This, I haven't quite figured out what I should do with this, with this end. I think I'm gonna make it a closed hi-hat. This side I never use. This side I use this edge. There's also a three zone pad. I use that sometimes for playing certain beats. And then this one I've made into a cowbell. So yeah, I can play uh, better beats than that, but uh, just uh, thought I'd give you uh, an idea of why I had made these sounds, because it's really cool playing like percussions uh, with those kind of sounds. And now this one, this is the side drum with a lot of bass in it. So I'm going to play this properly. Maybe you guys can hear it better. Everything, everything like shakes, literally like all the mirrors and all that shakes and how do I put my camera up so high it's through this damn long tripod extended per customized again extended by myself to make it really nice and uh, long tall right up there to give a bird's eye view of everything and uh, yeah this is these are just mechano strips that's all it is metal mechano strips which is uh, just uh, sort of tied down with bolts onto the sides of the pillars to create that bracket thing. Okay, uh, I guess that makes sense now, everything. Uh, I don't think I'm missing out anything now. And remember, that is not ass. I mean, that's not jugs, it, uh, it is ass. <laughs> Said it the other way around, yep. That's what it is. All right, folks, uh, stay tuned, man, for more covers, yeah? Take care, man, bye-bye.